it's been over a year since I've uploaded a video and that's for a lot of reasons which I'm not afraid to explain back in 2018 I had to let go of my best friend and I sat with her all the way up to the end and it was hard it took a little time to get over I don't think you ever quite get over it but yeah I just it made it really difficult to get out and do anything to want to do anything I just didn't have a lot of motivation but I tried to get out there and just keep at least taking photographs and such and I did once in a while no matter what though it just didn't didn't feel right it didn't feel like me it felt like I was trying too hard or something I went through a long stretch where I wasn't wasn't shooting anything I wasn't painting anything I wasn't drawing anything just I, I couldn't break out of the funk and it just didn't feel natural so I didn't do anything I spent a lot of time sitting around and then March of last year during a friendly faculty versus faculty basketball game for a charity event my right patellar tendon decided to snap and sever itself from my shin and that made it so I couldn't walk for three months and I spent the entire summer in rehab just trying to get to the point where I could walk with any confidence so more sitting around more feeling unmotivated and being physically unable to do anything so yeah needless to say not the easiest year and it just got worse and and I guess I needed a break but now that it's middle of February of 2020 I think maybe it's time to start getting out and doing more photography and some more videos it's time to move forward and I forgot to mention that in October of 2018 I took myself to Iceland for 12 days saved up an awful lot of money and spent what last penny I had to do it and on my third day there my secondary camera my backup camera which I used for vlogging and my brand new digital audio recorder both decided to sacrifice themselves to the Norse gods and launched themselves off of an overlook pier several hundred feet down into a waterfall ravine never to be recovered so yeah last two years have been unpleasant in many ways but it is said that you grow more in the difficult times than you do in the easy times so let's hope that there's been some growth I don't want to do all that over again I mean I do the Iceland part over again but I don't want to do the all the tough stuff of course walking around on one half bum leg means that hard hikes are going to be out for a little while until I can build that quad muscle back up again and everything's going to have to stay relatively level and it's also why I'm so darn out of shape and huffing and puffing like I've gone up a mountainside when in all honesty it's pretty flat so hopefully I can get myself back in some sort of shape this year too even more motivation to get out and do stuff. 
my hope was to get out and get some snow pictures this winter, but it hasn't snowed. It's been an incredibly mild winter so far for the Mid-Atlantic area, and we're already 15 days from March, but then again, we tend to get our heaviest snows in February into March around here. But with my knee the way it is, I guess I should be glad that I haven't been out trying to walk in the snow. I decided to take the day, since it was relatively nice, to come over to Elk Neck State Park and Turkey Point Lighthouse, which is right there, and see if I can get some sunset shots. The last time I was here was July of 2018, and I really got nothing. It clouded over, and there was no color, and the sun was setting behind the trees over there because it was, you know, midsummer. But being February, it should come down over the water this time. And there looks to be some reasonable high clouds, which means there might be some good color tonight. I'm hoping so anyway. We'll find out. Let's see what we can do while we're here. I have my handy dandy photographer's ephemeris if you uh, if you do get out a lot and like to photograph I highly recommend it it is very helpful I'm sure there's plenty of other ones out there that work as well uh, but this one I like to use um, I find it very handy and no they are not sponsoring me or anything like that I, I just honestly use it and it's it's got a, some pretty nice features in that it will tell me exactly where the sun is going to set, where the sun's going to rise, gives me all the times for it and that kind of thing. So yeah, very handy dandy. And so I know that this time the sun is actually going to set right about, right about where the flagpole is there. So I'm hopeful that those nice high clouds will give me something to work with. Either way, it's still a beautiful day. keep doing this it might actually uh, actually give me something to work with I'm watching the Sun here and it's I think we're getting a little bit of color and then once it dips down below the cloud line that's coming in I don't I don't know what I'm gonna have so I'm gonna start taking pictures for as long as I can and Maybe I can get something out of it. As the sun continued to dip lower, 
and the clouds continued to move in. Eventually, most of the light disappeared, leaving only a few traces. I had to move my camera, try a different composition, break out the zoom lens, and try to grab what color I could. And, even though it didn't turn out the way I expected, I got a few good shots out of it. And I think it's definitely worth coming back and trying again one day. <laughs>